A microgrid is a way of powering communities using distributed generation, meaning multiple sources of power, including renewables, working together to balance electrical supply and demand. This is instead of relying on one main utility grid powered by fossil fuel or nuclear energy. Microgrids have the advantages of increased resiliency to outages, lowering climate altering emissions, and the ability to co-generate heat that can be used locally, increasing overall efficiency. Here at the High Bay Lab at the Wisconsin Energy Institute on the University of Wisconsin-Madison campus, researchers are working to better understand and optimize microgrid technology. The activity that we have developed uses an educational resource called the SNAP Circuits Green Kit from Ellenco Company to stimulate how different sources of generation work to power communities. We start off the activity by engaging learners in a conversation about where power comes from. What makes the lights turn on at your home when you flip the switch? Where is power generated? The idea is to get learners thinking about power plants and electricity traveling long distances through wires and the corresponding inefficiencies. The main grid neighborhood represents a neighborhood powered by the traditional utility grid. Explain to learners that when they turn the crank, they are acting like the power plant for the community. The faster you crank, the higher the meter goes. As you disconnect one of the wires from the power plant, you can ask, what happens if a tree branch falls on this power line or there is a major storm like a hurricane? Then show that when you turn the crank, the LED does not light up. However, the microgrid neighborhood can source its power locally using renewable energy features, so the lights can stay on even in the event of an outage. One option is solar power for the microgrid neighborhood, converting energy from the sun into electricity. Encourage learners to turn on the desk lamp, then press the switch for the solar panel. Learners can see from the analog meter that the solar panel is powering up the microgrid neighborhood. Unfortunately for solar electricity generation, the sun doesn't shine all of the time. Wind power is another power source that can be incorporated into a microgrid. Encourage learners to turn on the fan, then press the switch for the wind turbine. Learners can see that the wind turbine is bringing power into the microgrid neighborhood, but clearly not as much as the solar panel. Because renewable energy sources are intermittent and the supply and demand of power for a community is variable, the ability to store power in batteries is important. One of the hallmark characteristics of the microgrid is the ability to seamlessly connect or disconnect from the main utility grid. Connecting to the grid when needed allows microgrids to have flexibility with meeting the power needs of residents while increasing resiliency and reducing carbon emissions when the microgrid is able to generate enough power from renewables.